Folks, the 2016 presidential election is getting really exciting. Uh, fear is a type of excitement, right? Okay. <laughs> and I am personally very excited because next week, every night after the convention, the late show will be live, and I hope you will be also. Now, <laughs> the buzz is what's going on right now in, in both camps is that both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are apparently about to announce their running mates. Clinton's choice will likely come next week, but this Friday, Trump is hosting a major event to announce his pick ahead of the Republican convention in Cleveland. It'll be like LeBron James' decision, only this time all of Cleveland will try to flee to South Beach. <laughs> so let's take a quick look at this year's top prospects with the Late Show Vice Presidential Draft Preview. I'm Stephen Colbert. Welcome to the 2016 Veep Draft Preview, where we take a look at who could be number one at coming in second. Joining me, as always, with analysis, a man I'm proud to call my friend, Steve Colbert. Steve, thank you, Stephen. It's an honor <laughs> and a privilege to appear alongside a broadcast legend. Thank you, Steve. For me, it's like looking at a younger, more talented mirror. This year, we've got some great young prospects, some just decades out of college. Let's start with the leading contenders to join Team Trump. Analysts expect the pick to go to New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, former House Speaker Newt Gingrich, or Indiana Governor Mike Pence. I'm sorry. I, sorry, I fell asleep when Mike Pence's face appeared on the screen. See, what's your reaction? Great field. Who knows? If Trump picks running mates the way he picks actual mates, he could go with all three. <laughs> well put, Steve. Now, mm, mm, mm. let's dive right into the numbers. Starting with the big man, Chris Christie, weighing in at, let's just say, less than it used to be. He's working on it. <laughs> He is a brash power player, not afraid to throw some elbows, and as he's shown with the George Washington Bridge, the man really knows how to shut down the lane. Plus, you know he won't go free agent because it appears to be a hostage situation. Over to you, Steve. Thanks, Stephen. If Donald leads off the draft with Christie, Team Clinton might count a heavy hitter like Elizabeth Warren, a fan favorite. Yeah, she knows how to fire up a crowd. A fan favorite who's known for her strong play on the left wing. Analysts say her draft odds are low, but I wouldn't count her out. She and Clinton already have matching uniforms. <laughs> Meanwhile, Team Trump has shown great interest in former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich, a.k.a. the human snowman. <laughs> Gingrich played center in the Clinton impeachment hearings in the 1990s, and he's looking for a re re match match. Gingrich is known for piling up big numbers of his own, of wives in this case. He brings three of his own, meaning together he and Trump could put up a double triple. <laughs> That's right, Steve. Plus, Trump is willing to take wild shots no one else would take, like Gingrich's promise that he would have a moon colony by 2020. A thrilling prospect because if Trump wins, that's where many Americans will want to live. <laughs> and, and boom goes the democracy. Back to you, Steve, for more on Team Hillary. Well, the excitement builds as Secretary Clinton could pick Virginia Senator Tim Kaine. I'M SORRY. SEEING KANE'S PICTURE MADE ME GO A LITTLE MIKE PENCE ON YOU. <laughs> LET'S TAKE A LOOK AT KANE'S PRE-DRAFT STATEMENT. I AM BORING. BOOM! THE MAN NAILED IT! <laughs> THAT'S GRACE UNDER PRESSURE RIGHT THERE. THAT STATEMENT REMINDS ME OF VICE PRESIDENT ALBIN W. BARKLEY'S FAMOUS DECLARATION, WHO AM I AGAIN? <laughs> NOW, STEPHEN, WHO ELSE IS ON DRAFT A DONALD'S LIST? Well. Coach Trump is taking a close look at Indiana governor and dehydrated Newt Gingrich, Mike Pence. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I don't, don't want to go to Cleveland, Mom. I don't want to. <laughs> what? How long was I out? 
Now, just listen to Trump's excitement about this prospect. You'll be calling up Mike Pence. I don't know whether he's going to be your governor or your vice president. Who the hell knows? Absolutely. Who the hell knows anything about Mike Pence? I believe he is the before picture on the box of Just for Men. <laughs> Great analysis, Stephen. But don't forget, reports are Trump's looking for an attack dog as his running mate. And as unpredictable as this campaign has been, he might mean an actual attack dog. <laughs> It will be the first since the candidacy of Vice President Hooch. Well, that does it for the preview of the 2016 vice presidential draft. Just think, one of these powerful figures could soon be cutting a ribbon at your municipal waste treatment plant. We'll be right back with Benjamin Bratz.